Hi, I'm Brandon J from WA Production, and here's our top 10 picks of digital audio workstations this 2022. The order is going to be based on the initial release date and not because one is better than the previously mentioned. Popular and a lot more established in the music industry, yes, but doesn't necessarily mean it's better. But first, what exactly is a digital audio workstation? For those of you who didn't know, who I assumed are beginners, a digital audio workstation is a program used for arranging, recording, editing, and manipulating audio. It is like a blank canvas with all the tools that you need to paint the big picture. Music nowadays is processed in the computer, and analog gears are slowly moving out of sight. So technically, you need a digital audio workstation, a DAW, to put things together. Okay, so with that cleared, let's get back to the topic and jump right in. Coming at number 10, we have Bitwig Studio, which was released by Bitwig in 2014. This digital audio workstation landed its feet very well in the music industry. It was developed by former Ableton employees. Bitwig took a lot of inspiration from Ableton Live, especially the session view. It offers a creative and straightforward workflow similar to Ableton Live, but it's better in some other areas. The price of Bitwig is around 99 bucks for the 16 track version and 399 for the full version, and it comes with a 30 day trial. Coming up, we have Studio One by PreSonus, released back in 2009. Studio One has made a lot of improvement over the past couple of years. I feel like the likelihood of it becoming an industry standard along with Pro Tools in the next couple of years is high because a lot of studios are reportedly switching to this tool. What I like about this DAW is you can get data from other project files and dragging and dropping has never been so easy. The price of Studio One is the same as Bitwig, we have $99 for the artist version and $399 for the full version. And it comes with a 30 day trial. If you have a tight budget, there's another way to get Studio One. You can rent to own Studio One for just $17 a month for 24 months. It is also worth mentioning that Studio One has a free version called Studio One Prime, but it is so limited and there is no VST support. You just need to sign up to their site and you can get it for free. Coming up, we have Reaper. Released back in 2006, Reaper is the most affordable one on this list for just $60 and it comes with a 60-day trial. It is one of the most customizable digital audio workstations around and its power is remarkable. With that straightforward and clean looking interface, there is no doubt it is many people's choice for their home studios. Reaper is one of those digital audio workstations that has a large active user base where you can ask your questions. Coming up next, we have Ableton Live. First released by Ableton in 2001, this is the DAW of choice of countless professionals, especially in the pop and dance music scene. Its application is not just limited in the music production. It can also be used for performing live, which is why it is so popular amongst DJs and EDM producers. Ableton Live is one of the tools a lot would recommend, especially for beginners, mainly because of its simple and straightforward workflow. The latest version took things beyond what is expected, thus enhancing the software's capability without adding too much hindrance to its workflow. Some new plugins have been added and this cool new comping feature which has been requested for a very long time. Of course, the session view is still there because it is what Ableton Live is known very well for. Ableton Live comes with a 90-day trial, and its price is $449 for the standard edition and $749 for the suite. It is one of the most expensive options out there. Coming up, we have Reason. First released in the year 2000 by Reason Studios, a Swedish company formerly known as Propeller Head Software, Reason is not your typical studio powerhouse. It features a modular style workflow where you can connect cables and route things endlessly, which in my opinion, sparks interest in sound design. It kind of pushes you to get interested and understand how audio gears work in real life. It offers vast rack of soft synths, drum machines, samplers, and effects. It packs with more than enough sounds and plugins for your music, to the point that having a third-party plugin is no longer necessary. But it supports VST plugins anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. Just like the others, Reason comes with a 30-day trial, and it costs $449 for the full version. Coming up next, we have FL Studio. FL Studio was first released as Fruity Loops back in 1998 as a drum sequencer. 
I was one year old at the time, and now it has become this absolute go-to software for this brand new generation of music producers, including myself. This is the program that I would personally recommend everyone should try, especially if they're just starting out. You will have everything you need available to you without any third-party plugins involved from pitch correction, miscellaneous effects, variety of samplers and synthesizers, you name it. There's even this cool audio visualizer compositing plugin that allows you to make some epic animated video content for your music. To me, FL Studio is the real deal. Of all the music production softwares, FL Studio has the most amount of users. You can find tutorials for just about anything for this program from beginner to advanced, which is why I strongly believe it is suitable for everyone regardless of skill level and experience. It also comes with unlimited trial, which means that you can take your time to evaluate it for as long as you like. The only problem you'll have is you won't be able to open your saved project. It also comes with a bunch of editions. We have the Fruity Edition, which costs $99, Producer Edition at $199, Signature Bundle at $299, and the All Plugin Edition, which costs $499. FL Studio offers lifetime free updates, which means that you only have to buy it once and you can enjoy it and its future versions for as long as it exists. Next up, we have Logic Pro. Released in 1993 as a notator software by a different company and later on was acquired by the tech giant Apple, Logic Pro is one of today's most popular and widely used digital audio workstations. It provides terrific value and excellent performance on Mac and it comes with high quality sounds and easy to use interface. Unfortunately, it is only for Mac. So far, that's the only one on this list that is not available for all the major platforms. So if you're on Mac, you can try out Logic Pro for 90 days. That's nine zero days, three freaking months. And it costs cheaper compared to the other full version of DAWs. For just $199, it is a great bang for the buck. Next up, we have Pro Tools. First launched in 1991 by Avid, it is the industry standard of digital audio workstations. It is commonly used in a more professional and serious environment such as big recording studios and film studios. Almost all legendary mixing and mastering engineers are on Pro Tools. I personally haven't used Pro Tools before, but a lot of the mix engineers that I know use Pro Tools as their secondary, if not primary tool for their work. One of the myths that's circulating online is that Pro Tools has a superior summing engine or sound engine compared to the other softwares. And so far, no one has ever proven that right. Anyway, Pro Tools comes with a 30-day trial, but there might be a catch. They might require you to use a dongle in order for you to use it. And it's the only subscription-based software on this list. You can get a monthly plan of 40 bucks a month, 32 bucks if you commit for a year, or you can save 37% by paying $2.99 for a full year up front. Next is we have Cubase. First launched in 1989, and this is the software that a lot of local commercial studios are using. With its powerful audio manipulating capabilities, there's no doubt it's one of today's most recognized studio powerhouses. For those of you who didn't know, Steinberg, the company that founded Cubase, is also the one who founded VST or Virtual Studio Technology, which is the technology used behind third-party plugins. Despite heavy competition these days, Cubase remains one of the top contenders as it offers a lot of great and unique features. And just like the others, Cubase comes with a 30-day trial. They used to require dongles, but not anymore. It also comes with three additions. We have Cubase Elements, which costs 99.99 euros. That's $105. Cubase Artist, 329 euros, around $350. The full version of Cubase, which is the pro version, costs 579 euros. That's around $610. And the last one on our list is Cakewalk by BandLab. It is formerly known as Sonar when it was still under the company Cakewalk, which is a subsidiary of Gibson, a well-known guitar brand. In 2018, right after Gibson announced that they will cease the development of Cakewalk and all of its products, a tech company based in Singapore called BandLab acquired some of its assets. They changed the name to Cakewalk, probably as a tribute to the previous company, or because that's the original name when it came out in 1987. Regardless of the transfer of ownership, this program is still very capable. 
I don't know much about this program aside from it's a fully featured DAW and it supports third-party plugins. It's still worth mentioning given that it's free. And that concludes it. Notice that I haven't used the word best anywhere in this video. That's because there's no such thing as the best tool used for creative arts such as music production. They're just gonna keep on improving so I think it's safe to say that you can't go wrong with any of them. Even the free ones that are not on this list can get you to where you want to go with your music. I encourage you to try and evaluate them yourself if you're a beginner. Don't pick one just because somebody else told you to. Choose one based on what you feel is right for you. So, what do you guys think? What digital audio workstations are you guys using right now or are planning to try right after watching this video? Please let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and smash that subscribe button so we can keep you posted. Again, I'm Brandon J from WA Production, wishing you the best of luck. Have a great day.